Today on Edge, the humanitarian crisis in Palestine, horrifying and somehow getting worse. It's hard for us to imagine what life is like in Israeli-occupied territories, your whole world under the complete control of a hostile neighboring state. So we sent Nick Moss to the West Bank for a first-hand look at just how difficult it is for everyday Palestinians in this hopeless situation to score drugs. We just passed from Jerusalem into the West Bank, and you can see all around me what it's like here. People living under desperate conditions, completely cut off from coke, tranquilizers, even weed. You can tell no one here's high. It sucks. So what is it like living here? <laughs> So when was the last time you got high? What? Hmm? Hmm? She didn't even remember. She didn't even fucking remember. In the town of Hebron, scenes like this one are all too common. Is anyone holding? Do you have cocaine that doesn't suck? Even weed, I'd settle for weed. Why doesn't anyone have access to crank? If the Israelis have it, don't you think the Palestinians should too? <laughs> Sir, please. I don't need all the humanitarian Shit, 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 shit. <sighs> it's crazy. Just yesterday in Jerusalem, I went to a nightclub and got fucking stupid on ketamine. But over here, it couldn't be a more different situation, you know? Hundreds of checkpoints and roadblocks, entire towns under curfew. People denied access to everything from shrooms to speed. No hope for a bump of crystal. In this shop in Nablus, you can't even get the most basic hallucinogens or strains of cannabis. Shopkeeper Abed El Hashim told me that's not unusual. So in a good week, how much, say, PCP would you sell? So what does the woman who wanted to get high actually end up doing? Well, NGOs send aid packages like this one, and if you're resourceful, you can get a little buzz on the ibuprofen and the rubbing alcohol, but there's really not much here that's useful. Ooh. This whole time I've been thinking, if we don't get the Palestinian people the drugs they need to survive, real quality shit fit for humans, it may be too little too late, and the Middle East will never, ever unfuck itself. Next time on Edge, the first camel to escape North Korea. Plus, 16 and already addicted to sumo wrestling. <laughs>